Hey, this is Warren Redlick. I am assembling along with my assistant who does not necessarily wish to be on camera. She doesn't care. All right, my assistant wishes to be briefly on camera. We are assembling the cyber quad for kids. What we have done so far is we had to pull this wheel out. These wheels were packed in for shipping and you had to slide them out. And then we have this interesting challenge there's this push pin that you put in here and you have to bend these pieces back and this thing wants to drop in. And we, I think what's supposed to stay up, this, this piece is supposed to stay up on top and these are supposed to hold it in place, but it's hard to bend these correctly so this thing doesn't drop in. We haven't figured that bit out yet. Um, we also had to put this, we also had to put this piece in and screw, uh, put a washer and a nut in on the other side. That's what we've done so far. Next up, we're doing the front wheels. We have to take this cap off on each side, slide the wheels on, and we'll see how it goes from there. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Take it, take it all the way off, put it all the way on. So we're taking, this is putting the wheel on. All right, so that should be sticking out when you're done. If you're not, if you do it, um, the first time we tried it, it didn't go all the way through. Go ahead. So now we put the, so now we put the washer and then whatever we're calling the end piece on. This may be difficult. Mine was difficult to get off. Looks like this one is easy to get on. We'll do the other side next. And we may have to tighten these with a wrench and we have a wrench for that purpose. And then there's a pin thing. The same pin thing we saw in the last thing also goes on this thing as well, we think. We'll check that in a minute. Okay, so you can see the pin, the pin thing that comes through. The pin, the pin head is here, these pieces come through. And what I did this time, instead of using the, the pliers, is I just used my thumb to push the long end through, and I think that worked better than using the pliers on the long end. The, the thumb doesn't really work on this end. It's still a little loose. I'm not sure it's still gonna work. It's still gonna keep it out, but and I'm not sure how important that is, but that's it. We're supposed to tilt it over on its side, so I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. And then, I think I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a quick look underneath CyberQuad. I think the battery stuff is all in there. I'm not sure. We're gonna disassemble this in a future video to see what else is going on in here. Okay, next up, the instructions say we're supposed to replace this piece here with the shock absorber. I haven't figured out which way it goes yet, but the shock absorber is gonna go in place of this. We have to take this piece off. That's what's coming next. So you have to use the Allen key on the upper piece and you have to hold the lower piece in theory with some kind of wrench. I'm using this. I'm using this baby to hold it. And then I think you have to turn the Allen key out. This unscrews it. And that works. And that's how we get this piece off. It's now loose. We got that piece off. We're going to do the same thing with the other piece over here, which we have to save these. If we lose them, we lose them together. Okay. And this is there's a lot of hardware in the way here. It's hard to get at this piece. So I wasn't able to get traction going vertical, so I'm going horizontal and I have to push these cables out of the way. And um, It's not as easy as we hoped, but it's moving. I think it's, yeah, it's getting a little looser now.
This one is definitely harder than the first one. I wonder if I should have done this one first. Okay. It was resisting coming out and I popped this piece out and then it became loose and I was able to pull it out. Ta-da! Okay, so from the instructions, it looks like it goes like this. The, the long threaded section goes closer to the body. And you squeeze this in here. Oh, and then this is interesting. I think we're gonna have to compress it to get, I think we may have to compress it to get it to fit. So we'll figure that out and we'll get back to you. So originally this didn't fit. It was too long. And what we figured out was that this piece, obviously that's the purpose of the shock absorber. You, can, you have to extend it to make room for the shock absorber to fit. Okay, so what I did was I dropped the, the bolt through and I loosely screwed on the nut here. And then we had to adjust the position of the wheel versus the body, the wheel versus the body to get the second one to fit. Once we had one in, it was easier to get the other one in. Drop the top in, then screw the bottom on, and now we're gonna tighten them. That's gonna be boring, so we're not gonna show that part. Okay, so the, the shock absorber is installed. I think it's reasonably tight. It doesn't really give you instructions on how tight to make it, so we did the best we could. We think it's right, we might tighten it more later. Same thing with some of the other things. We might tighten them more later, but I don't think so. And then the handlebars, next up, are going to go on here, like so. We have to be careful not to pinch the wire, so we have to figure out how to do that right. And uh, then we put four bolts in there, in there, so that's coming next. One pro tip, when you're putting these in, don't over-tighten any of them right away because that may make it hard to get the next group in. So we over tightened these first and then we couldn't get these in. So we loosened these and then we were able to get these in and now we're making good progress. And we just sort of guided the cables through as we were putting the handlebars in so that the cables went through and didn't get pinched. So this piece just snaps over those four uh, bolts or screws that go in. We couldn't find this piece originally. It was in the package of two wheel covers together. That's where that was. Okay, so when we did the handlebars, we used these by mistake, and we should have used these. These are for the wheels, and that's our fault for not reading the instructions ahead of time. So just make sure the, the handlebar screws, there's only four of them. The wheel screws, there's eight of them, I think, or more. So just be careful about that. Okay, so when you're doing this, when you're doing this wheel cover, it looks when you're looking at it like it's supposed to go in here, but it's actually supposed to go in these holes here. Just a quick mention, the package comes with one Allen key. I believe this is, uh, this is my separate Allen key that came with my toolkit. I believe it's a five or six millimeter Allen key that works with these, um, with the entire set. So if there's two of you working, it's nice to have two Allen keys. This is the rear wheel cover. It's a little smaller. It was a little bit of a tighter fit. I was able to do this one. We're having a little trouble with the other one. We'll check and see if we can get that one done. Um, it's not clear how tight you're supposed to make the screws, but I don't think there's any harm in tightening them more and you can't really get much traction or much torque on them anyway so I tighten them as much as I could. So now we snap on this cover which number one is cosmetic but also probably protects this. Not sure how well I'm going to do this but we'll give it a shot. Oh that snapped in. Sort of snap. <laughs> All right, I'll keep you posted. Okay, so it appears the single hardest part of the cyber quad assembly is attaching these, tr these three prong pieces to the, there's these prongs that go in these holes. And when you try to get them in, it's like playing whack-a-mole. Like you, you get something in and then something pops out and you can't get, you can't get anything to stay in permanently. So let, let's say if you start from the outside, what seems to work best, and I see that one's stuck in for a second, but then you get like this piece in and this piece in, and now it doesn't, once you start getting more pieces in, it flexes and pops out. Oh, oh that felt, that sounded good. Oh, recording with the key. 
Okay. And now it's on. So we got one of them in. This has been really hard to do. We got one. We'll see if I learn from this and we can get the rest of them done. I'm not confident, but we're gonna try it. Anyway, this is the hardest part of the job. Um, I'd like to tell you I know what I just did right. I don't know. Just keep trying and eventually you'll get it, I think. It, but you know, when you don't get it right, it just pops off on its own. Okay, we think we're close to done. This piece is gonna go on the front like this somehow. Like that, and then we have to screw it in, I guess. So I think we may be done or close to done, but we're gonna keep working. Okay, so we, we weren't able to attach this last piece because this bolt and nut don't quite work together. They won't, they won't come together. We were able to get one of them on, but not the other. We decided to leave them off. This is not a mission critical part of the device. It's just something that protects the front. So we'll try not to drive it in anything difficult and we'll see if we can get Radio Flyer to send us a new piece or we can find something else to replace it. So it's supposed to go through here and we just couldn't get the nut and bolt to go together. We were able to get it to work on the other side, but not this side. Okay, so the cyber quad is mostly assembled. We are missing that one front piece, but everything else seems to be going together well. Uh, it took us, I don't know, an hour or two to get this together. It's 12 o'clock in the yeah. A little less than two hours to get this together. That's with two people working. Uh, pretty satisfied, it's not that bad. Uh, looking forward to trying it out in the next video. So, and we'll see if we can get that last piece uh, worked out with Radio Flyer and Tesla so we can assemble the front piece, but we'll just try not to drive it anywhere where we need to worry about it. And I think we're probably going to need to charge the battery as well. Thanks for watching.